Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chip. It's Delaney. And we are doing a well, a look using our Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. We're going to do two looks a piece, so that's four total. And yeah, let's just get into like this blue fairy tale type of situation. You know, you've seen it everywhere. We just want to take <laughs> our own spin on it. Yeah. This is the new palette that he came out with his Blue Blood collection, and we've just been dying to show you guys a variety of looks on two different skin tones. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> I already went ahead and primed the eyelids with the NYX White Base just because I wanted to have a little bit brighter and same, yeah, same, same for Chip. <laughs> same. Okay, I'm going in with Flourishing first using the Sephora Smoky Crease number 31 and applying this to the outer corner of my eyes. I'm going to go in with Mint Tea with my Morphe M412. I'm just going to be applying that into the crease. And then I did use the new Jeffree Star Magic Wand Concealer and Setting Powder in the shade C2 and Rose. So that's what's under my eyes. You know, just normal parts that you're um, highlighting the face with the concealer. And then I just have powder just around my problem areas and definitely under the eye. I have liked it so far. I actually see less wrinkling in under my eyes, which is beautiful because I have really wrinkly under eyes. Like they're still there, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but it's not getting like creasy buildup that like That's some good. of your other concealers get just cause you know, they have a higher like oil content, you know, mm -hmm. or what have you. How does it blend out? Blends out like a dream. Yeah. I do find that throughout the day, if I am getting too oily, it does kind of break apart, which that's just my oils that are coming through. If he comes out with a foundation, that's the same formulation. Bye, get off. <laughs> you heard it first here. <laughs> Bye, get off. <laughs> So next shade I'm going to go in is uh, Cullinan. I may be saying that wrong, but it's the nice icy white color in there. And that's going to go into the inner corner of the eye. And I'm going to be taking my okay, Sephora Pro 14 to apply that. How are you doing over there? I'm good. I'm still on the same <laughs> flourishing shade. I'm trying to just deepen that color up. I feel like it's really amazing on all skin tones, but it shows like a dream on my dark skin. Like I, I'm in love. I like that it's not all completely blue. Like I like that there's pops of pink in here. There's yeah. nudes for transitioning. There's dark colors. There's glitter. There's mm -hmm. shimmer. Just uh, it's so well rounded. And I'm not an owner of like blood sugar, but I do have Alien. I really want blood sugar, and I think I only want blood sugar because I really like blue blood. Like I feel <laughs> like for thirsty, the bottom row where the yellow and the blue really speaks to me. Yeah. But that whole shimmer row, I'm just like. <laughs> Could it have just Do been matte? For me, it's just like, just like with the uh, Norvina palette, I don't want a whole row of shimmer. Like I just, I'm just not a huge shimmer girl as I'm applying shimmer onto my eyes. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with the NYX white base and I want to create a cut crease. Just packing a little bit more of minty in to my deep set of my crease. Just because Cullen is so stark white, I don't want it to be like super bright white on my lid because it's you just gonna don't. make, it's just gonna accentuate yeah. my wrinkles. So no, no, no. Ooh. And then I'm gonna go back in with that same brush with Minty under the eye so I can finish up with that color. We're not gonna make the bottom lash line like super pigmented. It's just gonna be just a nice like transition. Nothing crazy. Just taking Cullinan out a little bit more on my lid. I am going to do an outer corner color with cremated, but I just want it to be very faint just to deepen up the shadow of the crease in the outer corner. I don't want to take it too much onto the lid. To do the outer corner, I'm going to take the Morphe M169. Like I said, I'm going to take cremated, which is like a really dark, I love like cremated. maybe teal gray. So is that the breakdown of what that looks like? <laughs> just going in very lightly with cremated because it is a power pigment and I don't want to have to go back over white 80 times. So that looks good and now I want to take a small packing brush. Where are you going? I'm trying to find my brush. Just pack it I'm up. I'm still here. Just pack it up. Would you leave me? I'm going to go in with Blue Blood and I'm using my Sigma Short Shader E20 brush. 
and I want to apply that right under my cut crease but still leaving some room. Liking the way that's looking, I'm just going to take the tiniest little bit of cremated <laughs> onto my same brush and just drag it on the lash line a little bit. You'll ever notice when Jeffrey's filming and he's like, yeah, my eczema on my one eye. Yeah, that's how my that's eye is feeling like. right now. <laughs> like it's just not blending as well on my, my left, but totally me, not product. Okay, so earlier I had scraped out a little bit of ocean ice onto my little mixing palette and I'm gonna put some Duraline in there. We're gonna make a nice liner, hopefully. hopefully. It's not really a color you can come back from. It's very bold blue. I'm just trying to make sure that I leave that gap in between the two shades and I'll go back and whiten it out with a color. Nin, nin, nin. How are you feeling about the lip bundle? Uh -huh, love it. I don't, I don't know, I bought it because I wanted to see what blues look like on me, like all his blues. Don't regret it, but I don't wear blue lipstick every day. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's sitting there till I feel like, oh, I'm going out. Blue is acceptable for this. Well, I mean, if you don't want it for your lips, you could always do a liner oh, yeah. with them because they're icy. Oh yeah, I did a cut crease with Drug Lord. Amazing. It actually you like spread it? better than like using concealers and stuff, which I'm Makes sense, makes sense. Made for those lips that have the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my Morphe M165. Going back Ooh. with this next face, creating another cut underneath Blue Blood. Just kind of stamping it on first to get some of the product off. Let's see, the last color I want to apply, I'm gonna go in with Deceased and apply that under blue blood but again leaving some room okay so i've got the bulk of the eye line on go ahead and clean some of that off <laughs> i am going to be taking a smaller precision brush just to kind of perfect and get that wing just right because it's a little hard with a longer brush to kind of get into the deep set of my eye so for that i'm going to take the morphe m250 o and just clean it up a little bit and then I'm gonna be taking some of the regular powdered ocean ice and going over top. Okay, I'm just cleaning up the outer edges of this look and I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape in deep. So because I want to set the shades in between the blues, I'm gonna go in with Cullinan and place that all over any white base. Finally, <laughs> got it right. <laughs> so we're taking the Marcel Oh, Aqua Allergenic <laughs> Perfume Free Waterproof <laughs> Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Electric Blue. Everyone has an Electric Blue eyeliner, I swear to God, everybody. And we're just going to take that into the bottom waterline and top waterline. What are some of y'all's favorite products from Jeffree Star? Talk about that. Yeah. Talk about faves. Lip scrubs. I love his lip scrubs. I do have some of, I have, uh, is it strawberry or root beer? I think it's strawberry to be honest. I don't yeah. think I would buy root beer. But all of his lip scrubs are yes. delicious. I wish I could have gotten the uh, vanilla one that he came out with this collection, but uh, yeah. I just don't need any more. I've got like yeah. 18 lip scrubs. Uh, I'm just going in with the Tarte Tartiste slash paint to build up my lash. And I was using the Kat Von D Trooper um, liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline mascara in Colossal World. I also really like his skin frosts. Those are so freaking pigmented. And Dark Horse is the perfect one for dark skin tones. All right, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with lip. We're using Pretty Zombie Cosmetics in the shade Sea Witch, which is just a nice royal blue. What lashes are we using today? These are Miss 3D lashes in this style, or 411. I'll be applying lashes off camera as well. They're bombshell, don't ask me what they are because I don't remember, ah. but they just look like a nice fan lash. They're all the same length. And just, you know, looks like a fan, what can I say? No other way to describe it really. Okay, so for lips I'm gonna use the Too Faced Melted Metallic Liquid Lipstick, and this is in The Real Teal. Okay, so this is lip number one. Party. It's right there. I love yours. Really, it was just like playing with different shadows. Like, y'all stay ready for look number two, but first, we're going to give you some close ups of look number one. <laughs> Number two is coming at you.
at you right now. <laughs> now. Remind me about my blue lips because that pretty zombie stains a shit ton and I can see it in the viewfinder. I look like a weird ghost. But the okay. color though, beautiful. It's just gonna bring you the blue look a lot more. <laughs> so I went ahead and put another layer of the NYX white base. The chip went ahead and opted for Urban Decay Primer Potion. Thank you for reminding me because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> well, she's gonna do it now. I'm gonna go in with Crystal Flesh and Ice Tray in my creases, but for this look, I'm gonna be doing two different eye colors. What? On both my eyes. So what? we're gonna have pink and blue. She going crazy, y'all. She going crazy. Not crazy, <laughs> not crazy. So we're gonna start on Ice Tray, which is the right eye. And if you guys have not seen it, it's like this nice steely shimmer. I think he did. I don't know, my opinion, he did way better on the shimmers and metallics than the mattes for me. Cause I'm just like, the mattes are kind of hard to see on my skin tone. I have to like build. Yeah, yeah, I have to build. The initial application is like, okay, there's something, but it builds nicely. But yeah, the it's first like swatch is like- number two. Yep, she got it. <laughs> I'm going in with Celebrity Skin and I'm going to use this as a transition color. And that brush, this was my Morphe R40. I'm using the same Morphe M412. And I'm gonna go into my left eye, which is pink with Crystal Flesh. Just pack that into the crease. So I wanna do kind of like a smoky, cause I haven't done a good smoky eye in a hot minute. And I feel like this palette would just be great for that. I'm going to apply Undertaker all over my lid. Ooh. Yeah. I can feel this, I can feel this. I love Undertaker because it reminds me of the wrestler Undertaker and he was my favorite when I was growing up. Like I was obsessed What's with wrestling? him. What's <laughs> wrestling? I know it's Undertaker picture. <laughs> I know kind of what wrestling is. It now was. I'll educate myself and I can look for this later. He was like the like goth, like came in in a coffin, scared the living hell out of his component. Loved it. He Maybe like, he took some inspiration for this. Jeffrey, do you watch wrestling? <laughs> I'm using the Sephora, oh, the number 30. And I'm just using this really to pack on the shade and not blend it out yet. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to brush. So I'm just dipping it to Untouchable with the Sephora Pro 14 and I'm gonna apply that to the left side. I'm gonna pack that over the lid. And then I'm gonna take I'm Cold, pack that on the blue lid. Feeling like very gender reveal party right now. <laughs> So what, what, if it was a boy or a girl, what would you do? Like take off one eye side, like wipe it off and be like the other one is the oh gender? Oh my God. I'm really thinking about this no, now. No, <laughs> that would just be a look that I'd wear all day. <laughs> Honestly, if I was gonna have kids, mm -hmm. I don't think I would do like a gender reveal because I wanna make my child grow up in a home where gender is not a thing. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Even though I follow very like traditional gender roles sometimes. <laughs> If I'm having kids, probably like in another three years or so, mm -hmm. like what war will we be in then? More Trump probably. Oh God. Hopefully we'll still be alive then. If he doesn't kill us all. Yeah. Yeah. If someone kills us. <gasps> Sorry, getting too deep for makeup. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take Celebrity Skin, same brush, left eye, and apply that into the outer corner. And I'm taking that into the lower lash line too. I am going in with Cremated, and I'm using the Morphe E17, and I just want to buff out the perimeter of Undertaker. I'm gonna dip in with Power, because I love a good gray bluish hue matte. I'm apply that in the outer corner on the blue eye, very carefully, it's not as forgiving as celebrity skin. And then I'm taking it cremated and applying that under my eye as well, just kind of to tie the whole smoky look together. Since power is so strong, <laughs> I'm gonna be going back in with ice tray and I'm cold just to kind of blend out a little bit and make sure that it's not completely overtaking its little area on the eye. Same brush. I almost, almost, almost kind of wish that there was like a darker complement to celebrity skin in here. Just so you have that more neutral brown to go along with the pinks in the palette. And I know that's weird for me to say I want a brown in the palette, <laughs> but that's just how I'm feeling. 
We could have had one more shade in there. That's probably what I would have done. Oh, so if you had your makeup brand, what would you name it? Hmm. Good question. Gets I trademarked. <laughs> I don't know what I'd call it. I have to think about that. I think I would do like chips treats or something. Um, gonna be beauty bakery number two. Yeah. But I think I would only do lip products. Like that is my number one makeup obsession. Okay, so I want to add a just some color because I'm like this is kind of dark. I'm gonna go in with <laughs> Entitled, which is probably my favorite shade out of the whole palette. Add this to the inner. Or lid area. Okay, so I just added a little bit of Colodan same brush into the inner corner just to kind of give it a little pop. I'm just gonna sweep away any fallout that I have. Did experience a little bit with power, but just because I was applying it such a small area and taking it onto the lash line. Okay, but that is my gender reveal look. Yeah. <laughs> is that what we're saying? That <laughs> That's this what I'm gonna call it, I guess. Yeah. That's what it's gonna be. I don't know, I just wanted to do something that like made me use more shades for once instead of using another yeah. four shades. Yeah. We're gonna do eyeliner next for the pink side. We're gonna be using the Arrow Enhance eyeliner in Bright Now. And then for other side, on blue side, we're gonna be using the NYX eye pencil in the shade Sapphire. Okay, I'm gonna go in with mascara. Same one as before. For lip, we're using the Pretty Vulgar. My lips are sealed in Secret Sabotage. I got this in a boxy charm and I've loved it ever since. <laughs> this is not a lip that I would buy in store because it's very neutral. It's a metallic. But for this look, it works perfectly. And so my lip option, I'm going to go in with Naughty by Nature. Same bombshell lashes as before because I'm a packer and don't at me. Uh. Plus I just really love them. Like I never wear them because they are so long. Working in a call center, it's not your best friend, especially staring at a screen, crunching your eyes at people oh, all day. Yeah. Not a not a lash to wear at work. Okay, so oh, this is look hey. number two, y'all. Yeah. Gender reveal for sure. I didn't think about that to be honest, but you know, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, and smoking out, it's playing with all the mats, and I'm entitled. I'm so oh glad my you gosh, that yeah, so I good. love entitled. So we're gonna do some close-ups of this look and the swatches of all the shades that we use today. enjoyed the Jeffree Star kind of showcase and seeing four different looks that you could potentially create. And yeah, this was fun. Really, it's like five and a half because you could well, just... <laughs> cut it in half. Yeah. Please subscribe and click that bell to be reminded of our next video because we love having more people come into our Sugar yeah. and Spice family. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye.